Welcome back, fabulous fourth graders. Um, here we go. We're going to dig right into it. It says, choose a unit of rounding to solve a word problem. Okay. So, um, let's just say there were 2,837 students at an elementary school, Lincoln Elementary. And we wanted to... Um, estimate how many numbers of chairs were needed in the school, okay? So let's think about what the best way to estimate this. We're going to have 2,837, 200, 2,837, 2, and 2,837. What are we going to round to to determine how many chairs we should order? Well, we'll try the thousands. And we'll try the hundreds, and we'll try the tens. Okay, I want you to try these on your own. So go ahead and pause the tape, and then uh, when you're ready, come on back and see see what answers you got. So pause the tape, see what answers you get. Okay, welcome back. We have 2,837. Well, remember, the midway point in the thousands is 500. Is this greater than 500, 837? You bet it is, so we're going to round up to 3,000. What about this one? 200, 2,837. Well, the midway point is 50, right? So is 37 greater than 50? No. So we would stay at 2,800. And finally, let's do the tens. What's the midway point on 10? 0 to 10? 5. Is 7 greater than 5? It is. So we'd round up. So this would become 2,840. Now looking at this, what, what number do you think is the best to choose when we're talking about ordering chairs for the school? Well, you can see with this method we'd have a lot of extra chairs. Over here we might not have enough chairs with the students. And if we look here, by golly, that's just enough chairs, so I think I would use this estimate based on last year's totals to order the number of chairs from the chair factory. Ah, yes, the chair factory. You know what? What, Princess Yvonne? Hello. My dad worked at a chair factory. Oh, really? What was his position? He was chairman of the board. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you very much, Princess Yvonne. All right, get out your problem set book uh, after you take a quick little break, and uh, we'll do our problem set.